What is going on here? The natural hair community be doing too much sometimes, you know? Don't bring that over here. Ooh, I like smelling it. Hmm. Yeah. I like that. I don't think I'm doing this right, y'all. But I'm gonna keep going. I don't have time for this. If this come out ugly, I'm not posting this. <laughs> I'm not. No, no. If this don't be dry in 33 hours, I know some. I'm cutting it off. Get started, cause it's late and I'm already over this. <laughs> Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So I have a natural hair video for y'all today. I'm gonna do a perm rod set this time. And I want to do like different natural hair videos. So like a roller set on my blow dry hair. I'm doing the perm rod set on my natural curly hair. I'm not blow drying it. You know, just showing y'all different ways like that I style my natural hair. I have done neither one of those styles before. I had never done a roller set before. And then I've never done a perm rod set before. So yeah, I just wanted to try some things and give y'all some content because I know y'all can ask for natural hair videos. So yeah, but it's nighttime. It's actually midnight. <laughs> Supposed to bend it this so this is what we're working with right now this is birthday hair shoot this is a month ago when i washed my hair so over a month ago i did a quick weave on myself after i took the quick weave out that was my first time doing a quick weave it was like black with pink highlights half up half down style and i took that out i just threw it in a bun because it was still blow dry and curled it for my birthday but yeah this is what we're working with right now so let me bring y'all along with me i'm gonna show y'all my routine how i wash my hair and detangle it and products that i'll be using in this video and how i'm gonna do the perm rods for my first time so if i don't do it right then don't judge me but i think i got a pretty good idea of how to do it but yeah also i'm gonna record a quick tiktok of this first thing i'm gonna do is comb out this mess comb it out section it into eight sections usually always wash my hair in eight sections to make it easier on myself let me take all these clips out i mean all these body pins my camera batteries got today <laughs> i really just want to cut this i really hate to waste a perfectly good scrunchie what is going on here okay let me change my battery all right, so ooh, first things first, I'm going to part her down the middle. I'm not worried about it being straight because I'm just parting this to wash it. So let me section one side out the way. Let me take this off because this is getting caught in it. Okay, and I'm going to section this side on four. And this side of four, but I'm gonna be combing out each one and detangling the section so we can get started. All right, so this side of my head is done. We got 
one two three four sections i'm gonna do this side off camera because you don't need to see me do that again i really should do this video on my new camera that my man got me he got me this sony zv1 camera for my birthday but i haven't tried it yet i really should do this video i'm gonna do my next video on this camera i think i gotta learn how to work it first i'm still keeping my g7x though that's what i use now if anybody was wondering what i use i use a canon g7x to film i edit with final cut pro i used to edit with imovie then i got final cut pro last year for my birthday and yeah so let me do this side all right y'all so got my eight sections all detangled took forever well the front of my head didn't it's these back sections that was taking me out but we're done now so now i'm gonna go wash i'm gonna try and bring y'all with me um really not a lot of room to be doing all of that the lighting is horrible but i'm gonna try to make it work it's fine but i'm gonna show y'all what i'm washing my hair with first i might actually go get my sister's clarifying shampoo because i ran out of my clarifying shampoo i usually use the clarifying shampoo like when i have styles that i have a lot of product in my hair like i had all that protective shield i also put some got to be spray in my hair when i did my updo for my birthday hairspray i like to use clarifying shampoo when i have styles that i use a lot of products but if it's just like a regular wash like my hair isn't like super dirty or had a lot of products in it i use the aussie miracle moist shampoo with avocado and jojoba oil and this one's backwards conditioner the matching conditioner so this is what i use i love this a lot of slip when i detangle my hair be feeling really soft so this is what I use. But like I said, I might go get the clarifying shampoo. So let me see if she even has any before I start. Because if she doesn't, then I'm using this. But if she does, I'm using the clarifying shampoo. And y'all, I have them very heavy handed with the conditioner. Because I need all the slip I can get. Like I said, I have really thick hair. I have long hair. And I have type 4 hair. So I need all the help I can get. So I'm very heavy handed with my products. No, I don't care. And you know, just a quick disclaimer. I'm not no hairstylist. I'm not no none of that. I'm not no natural hair expert. People may think that I just know a whole bunch about hair. Just because I have a lot of hair i really don't my sister does though she knows all the natural hair stuff so all you natural nazis don't um come for me now about nothing the natural hair community be doing too much sometimes you know like i love my natural girls but some of y'all just be going way too hard like y'all be y'all be i don't know i don't know what it is but don't bring that up here i just do what i know i do what works for me i use the products that work for me i'm just showing y'all what i do personally yeah okay let me go check for the shampoo okay she had it so this is the shampoo i'm gonna be using it's the suave daily clarifying shampoo all this stuff i got either of the shampoos and the conditioner i got a dollar general you can really find this anywhere so yeah let's get started because it's late and i'm already over this <laughs> okay y'all i'm at the sink i forgot to show y'all i'm also gonna be using this thing little scalp little scrubber thing um, my mom got me this off amazon for christmas i'll link it in my storefront yeah and i really like this thing i'm just using it when i shampoo just to get up in there
All right, so you're all washed in condition. Now I'm gonna detangle while the conditioner sits. So I'm gonna do that at my vanity. Actually, let me start from the back. It really shouldn't be all that tangled because we detangled before and I brushed it with the dimming brush when I shampooed. So this shouldn't take long. Okay, took me 13 minutes to do this side. I'm gonna do the other side off camera. Y'all need to see me do it twice. And then we'll go rinse and start on the perm rise. Okay, y'all, both sides are detangled. So let's go rinse. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> All right, y'all, they're all rinsed. Let me show y'all the products I'm gonna be using for the perm rod set, and then we'll start wrapping it up. All right, so obviously I got my perm rod. I bought 36. I'm going off a video that I already saw. I'll put the thumbnail right here of the girl's video that I watched. First came out really cute like that. Then I got this Mia White Peony Leave-In Conditioner that'll be applied first. And I got this oil that I found in my mom's room. I have been using my sister's oil that she made, but I ran out of that and she hasn't made it anymore. So I just grabbed this at my mom's room. And then last, I'll be applying this Miel Pomegranate and Honey Hair Dry Styling Lotion. Never used either of these Miel products. I just bought these today. So hopefully they turn out right. I don't know. I tried to find the products that the girl used in the video that I watched, but I didn't see it. So I got that. That's the order I'm gonna be applying the products to each section. I'm gonna put some more lip gloss on because I look sick. Pushybeauty.com. This is the Georgia Peach lip gloss. This is one of my favorite ones. I love the smell of this one. Link in the description. I feel like I got one of the best lip gloss formulas out there and I hear it all the time. So you do what you want to with that. Hmm. Anywho, I'm just gonna squeeze. I dry my hair with a t-shirt by the way. I'm pretty sure y'all already saw that, but just squeezing. You gotta squeeze too much because hair needs moisture. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply all the product to all the sections and then go back in flat twist and perm rod. But I need to put some more water in it. Let me get my spray bottle. Okay, then we're coming. I like this. I like that you can just spray it and I ain't gotta dip my hand in a bunch of product. Get my ends, comb this through. Then the oil. I wish this had a spray bottle on it because everything has got a spray bottle. I'm 
and then the air dry styling lotion. Ooh, I like smelling it. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let me put this out the way. I don't even think this is just straight up oil y'all now that i'm reading it <laughs> i think it's something mixed with oil but it's okay i don't know how much of this stuff i'm supposed to be using i'm just making sure my hair is saturated in it honestly i love smell of that pomegranate and honey one like that could really be some type of hair perfume or something like that smells so good Okay, I'm gonna apply the product to this side and then I'll be back. Roy T friends, got this side loaded up with product. I honestly think I put too much. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna take the t-shirt and like squeeze some of it. Look like it's a lot. Hopefully that's fine. Now we can start doing the perm rod step. So let me take these two sections apart so I can Divide them into two vertically. I think. I think I'm gonna need my phone to screen mirror so I can see the back of my head. See? I can see the back of my head. Okay, so I split that section into two in the back. And now we flat twist, which I then forgot how to do. I don't think it's hard. I know y'all can't see right now, but y'all be able to see when I get to the front. Stick this other piece under my neck. So you're supposed to wrap like this, wrap up, and then twist. I feel like these are two smaller sections. 
I mean, too big. Like I should split this in two or something. Roll it up. And then twist. Roll it up. Twist. I don't think I'm doing this right, y'all. Let me just twist this up real quick and let me figure out what I'm doing. So I feel like I'm not doing something right. And it's gonna make me mad. You know I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and flat twist the back section. Okay, so I went ahead and flat twisted the back, like the whole back. So now all I have to do is like undo it up to here and then add the perm rods. And then I'll show y'all like the front. I gotta figure out the perm rod situation. Okay, y'all, I think I somewhat got it figured out. I still don't feel like it's doing right because I feel like it just looks like all scraggly and stuff. But I'm gonna keep going because I don't have time for this. So I'm having to do three rods per section. I actually may do four. You take it, wrap the end, and then roll it up, and then twist it. Roll up some more, and then I just, like that. I'm gonna just keep doing that. If this come out ugly, I'm not posting this. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so tired of this happening. Why do these keep popping off like that? No way. I'm, I'm about to scream. No, no. Okay, let's do this side. Okay, so I think I got my technique down now. I feel like I should redo the first flat twist I did. I don't think these gonna turn out right. So I think I'm gonna redo those. I'm gonna wait till the end to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish and then show you all the front. So I'm doing four perm rods per flat twist. So I've done four. I only did three on the first one. That's probably my problem over here also. So once I redo it, I'll have four, eight, 12, 16. And then I don't know how many I'll be doing in the front because it's not as much hair in this section. So I don't know. Good thing I bought me perm rods as I did because it's taking more than I thought. Oh, yeah, see these, these over here are real good. All right, so I'm flat twisting each section. So I'm gonna split it in two and then twist. Then I'm gonna twist again, but Grab here this section, twist, So I'm gonna go ahead and flat twist all the sections and then we'll come back and perm ride them. And I'm flat twisting these forward and then these are going back.
So this side is all flat twisted. It's so frizzy looking. I don't know what to do about that, but whatever. So I'm gonna flat twist this side and then I'll be back so we can perm right it together. All right, I'm gonna start with this side where there's more hair. I think I can do two on this side. I can get away with doing just two on this section. Maybe three on this one and three on this one because these are a little bigger. So I'm untwisting up to here. Boom, we're done. Now I gotta sit under the dryer. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm not gonna take these out till tomorrow when I go out to eat. So I have plenty of time for it to dry. I have over 24 hours for it to dry. But I am gonna sit under the dryer for a while. I have a hooded dryer. Probably sit under there for a few hours. Probably gonna go to sleep. And yeah, then I'll just let it air dry or like go sit outside in the sun the rest of the time. So it can be fully dry. Cause I know the girl in the video that I watch uh, was saying that hers wasn't dry after sitting under the dryer for like three hours. Take care of problems. But I got 24 hours before I had to take mine out. Over 24 hours. I'm going out to eat tomorrow at seven. So I'll probably end up taking these out around six o'clock and it's 9 a.m. right now. So I have 33 hours before I have to take them out. So if this don't be dry in 33 hours, I know some. I'm cutting it off. So that is it. So I'll see y'all tomorrow when I take these out. My makeup will be done when I come back. And yeah, I'm gonna redo these back here before I go into the dryer though. But yeah. Oh, if anyone cared, um, also I just tied these little wrap strips on my head. Um, I thought maybe it would help with like the frizzies. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if anybody cared, here's my hairball on my shed hair from this wash day. There she is. Last time I combed my hair was back in June sometime. So, and it's the end of July now. So there she is. All right, bye. Okay, y'all, I'm running late trying to get ready. It's about to eat, but my makeup is done, all that. So let's take this hair down. Um, this is just gonna be like a sped up thing. I'm gonna just put a little bit of oil on my hands. Actually, I'll just put a little bit of bio silk on my hand and take these down and separate them. And yeah, y'all could just watch. So let me turn my light on. This one still feel a little damp right here in the front. It is still damp. Right. Over 30 hours and still not. Okay. Alright y'all. All of the things are out. It's some white residue in my hair. And this one in the front right here is still a little damp. That's crazy. I don't know what the white residue is from. Maybe it's the leave-in. But this one is damp too. All the other ones are fine though. Seem like. I take the flat twist loose. Probably manipulating the hair way too much and all wrong, but I'm in a rush.
I think I need to hit this section with the blow dryer because this was the one that was damp. Everything else was dry though. It's cute though. Like I'm, I'm liking it. Okay, let me go blow dry this section and then take some pictures and then I'll close out the video. But yeah, she's all fluffed out. All right, y'all. Well, that is it. That is the finished look. My first time doing perm rods. What do we think? What do we think? But yeah, I think next time I'll definitely give it more drying time. And I might just perm rod all the way instead of flat twisting. No, it still came out cute though. I like it. But yeah, let me know any more natural hairstyles y'all want me to try. Comment down below any suggestions. Any video suggestions that that doesn't have to be just natural hair. But if you do have natural hair suggestions or tips for this style, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.